Welcome to Business Bites. I'm Sarah Mather. The JSE weakened a quarter of a percent to 28,635 points. We spoke to Wayne McCurry from RMB Asset Management looking at BHP Billiton and the details behind its weak share price over the past two days. The details, as I understand it, are still a bit sketchy, but the Australian government is proposing a royalty or, in essence, extra tax for natural mining companies, natural resource companies in Australia. Now there's still a lot of uncertainty as to when this is going to be in introduced, it might only be in a year's time, no one's sure of the details, it's only a proposal, but this thing whacked Billiton yesterday and whacked it today because of all of our listed companies, Billiton has the biggest Australian exposure. So that's why you see, I mean the rest of the market down, you know, half a percent, Is point it an two, overreaction three, though by the market? probably is, I mean this, is, in our view, for what that's worth, in our view, Billiton is a seriously cheap share, but it's just got clobbered and must be almost 4% in two days, and that's going against the market. The Nigerian market jumped 2.5% to 26,453 points. We spoke to Jude Fajoku from Tadius Investment Bank, looking at the rebound on the NSC. For the past one week, um, after UBS result about 10 days ago, the market has already, will I say, factored in uh, the bank's results going forward. There have been some surprises, but given the downturn over the past 10 days, at this time, the market is now rebounding and it's moving beyond the bank's results. So though less than half have released their results so far, I think going forward, they won't really impact the market in the near term, because it's already been factored in over the past one week. The NSC20 ended the day at 4,233 points, down over three quarters of a percent. We spoke to Weyaki Hinga from Weyaki Associates, looking at the poor numbers from EA Cables. We have to look at their subsidiary in Tanzania that has not been posting, uh, has not been profitable, so to speak, in terms of our reliance with the utility industry within the Tanzanian economy. And uh, this has actually affected them overall in terms of profit for the group. But going forward, share price would find that there are few investors who are actually voting with their feet and uh, dumping the stock, so to speak. But that should not worry very many people because when you look at the company as a whole, it still has a stronghold as far as uh, the cable industry is concerned. And going by the industry, the way it is happening right now with construction still ongoing and the boom coming up on board, they'll still, they still have a firm footing to be able to turn around their profit. For more news and videos, go to abndigital.com.